at the clock tower. It is so tall. Let's learn intervals of 5 minutes at this clock tower. Friends, look at the minute hand. It takes 5 minutes to move from one number to the next on the clock. When the minute hand is on 1, it means 5 minutes. When the minute hand is on 2, it means 10 minutes. When the minute hand is on 3, it means 15 minutes. Kids, did you notice that when the number is multiplied by 5, we get the minutes? So, remember the table of 5s to find the minutes. Look at the clock again, friends. When the minute hand is between 12 and 6, it shows the minutes past the hour. Let's understand it by reading the time. Look, the hour hand is a little after 4 and the minute hand is on 1. So, we read this as 4-5 or 5 minutes past 4. We write it as 4 colon 0 5 or 5 minutes past 4. Now, let's try it once again. Look, the hour hand is between 8 and 9 and the minute hand is on 5. So, we read this as 8.25 or 25 minutes past 8. We write it as 8 colon 25 or 25 minutes past 8. Now, when the minute hand is between 6 and 12, it shows the minutes to the hour. Look, the hour hand is between 7 and 8 and the minute hand is on 7. So, we read this as 7.35 or 25 minutes to 8. We write it as 7 colon 35 or 25 minutes to 8. Let's do it once again. Look, the hour hand is a little before 11 and the minute hand is on 9. So, we read this as 10.45 or 15 minutes to 11. We write it as 10 colon 45 or 15 minutes to 11. Wow! It was so much fun learning the intervals of 5 minutes at the clock tower.